thank you all for coming. We are here tonight to talk about technology and leadership. SMU is such a great partner of AT&T. You're in for a treat tonight. You're gonna to hear from three of my colleagues and you're gonna hear about their experiences, what they're doing at AT&T and how they can apply some of these cool learnings for, for what they're doing. Thank you. I am so excited to be here today. It feels like I'm home. I love school. I don't think I'll ever stop going to school. But I did get to a point where school got really hard and when I would go to sleep, I would close my eyes and picture code and trying to debug my code when I was sleeping and math equations to the point where I would stay up really late to try to solve it. What ended up happening is that I got super anxious, very depressed, and I got the worst grades I'd ever gotten in my life and I had worked 10 times harder. So I actually call this hacking my Tetris effect. So by hacking the Tetris effect, it doesn't mean that you have to give up what you love to do. It just means that you're giving it a purpose. I'm here to help you find your why. I'm here to tell you how I find my why. But I'm also here to say that your why is going to change for the rest of your life. And that's a good thing. The second that you see people around you and you see what you're doing brings them peace. And then all of a sudden you find that happiness in you, you found it. And that is the power of why. Early on, especially in my younger years, there's something that I wasn't telling some of my friends that I met in class. And I was keeping a secret because I was scared that people were gonna judge me or they would look at me differently. What I wasn't telling everyone was, I was actually also on the cheer team at SMU. <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. For a lot of my life, it was hard for me to let these two personas combine. And really what changed that for me was joining the CDO. This is where I realized I can combine like those two people and everyone celebrates it. We all have different talents and abilities in the CDO. We use those to help support the customers of AT&T and help create technologies to further the company. And I realized when I was telling these limiting stories about myself, I wasn't allowing myself to grow. When I was telling myself I had to fit in to one stereotype, I wasn't allowing myself to grow into my own confident self. So today, I challenge you to think of what your story is. Are you telling yourself limiting stories or generative ones? And I challenge you to generate new ones starting today. I know you wonder, what does agility on the football field have to do with the workplace? Sounds crazy, doesn't it? I got moved from defensive end to defensive tackle. Doesn't really sound really crazy, right? But if you're a back-end developer and I asked you to go do front-end development, how would you feel? <laughs> ah, you don't want to do that right, huh? <laughs> Neither did I, all right? So at that time, 250 pounds, I played defensive end, I thought I was really cool. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing. Coach, don't worry about it. He pulled me to the side and he said something that stuck with me the whole time. He said, Vernon, you're never a finished product. As technologists, we're never a finished product. You can't have a fixed mindset, because we have a growth mindset here, and I tell you what, none of us in this room will ever be a finished product. We always get better, and man, I love coming here to talk to y'all. Ever since ChatGPT came out earlier this year, it's like, oh my gosh, how do I survive? How do I win in this world? What am I gonna do? So I started thinking, well, this thing looks disruptive. Um, well, wait a minute, I've seen some disruptions. I mean, I'm old. I'm from three technology disruptions ago. Now I did a lot of thinking is like, what have I learned of these past disruptions? And what have I learned at AT&T that maybe gives some clues as to how might you win in this world? And it happens to actually spell Gen AI. Get there fast, enable it broadly, do it novel, go to the actions and iterate. Now, Let's think back again, right? You're here at SMU and you're thinking about what is this for me, right? You're young, you're adaptable. You can go in the workforce. If you adopt these things, 
you're gonna be productive, right? You're gonna have folks that, and they're a long time, they're tired of that, right? I don't want to learn the next thing. Now, the other thing is, what if you wanna do the entrepreneur thing? There might never be a better time. This thing is so disruptive, right? Touching everything. So, anyway, think about that. We'd love to have you at AT&T. Join our data science scholar program or talk to us afterwards.